Mars is often known as the red planet. But why is it that colour? Mars is covered in dust that mainly contains iron. Now that iron has reacted with the oxygen in Mars's atmosphere to create iron oxide or rust, which means the red planet is actually more orange. The colour of each planet is determined by what they're made up of, and in some instances how their atmospheres absorb and reflect light from the sun. Uranus and Neptune, for example, appear to us as blue because methane gas reflects blue light. Things out in space have some amazing colours, but we actually look at space in black and white, because black and white cameras give scientists the most amount of information. Space telescopes have red, green and blue filters measuring different wavelengths. They combine them to get a true colour image, or what you'd see if your eyes were as powerful as the Hubble Space Telescope. They also use colour to see different elements, like hydrogen, carbon and oxygen, and use colour to see their presence in an image. So colours are used to send information. The Hubble Space Telescope can also see in non-visible light, like infrared. Scientists use it to see through clouds of dust so they can see stars behind and in nebulas. And we can use it here on Earth to see through things like bin bags. All objects on Earth emit IR radiation in the form of heat. This can be detected by electronic sensors such as those using night vision goggles and infrared cameras. Now the brighter colours you're seeing represent the warmer temperatures, whilst the darker colours, a bit like my cold fingers, represent the much cooler temperatures. Here at the National Space Centre, you can see yourself in infrared.